Let's take a look at how to make an arrow in InDesign. We need to create a path and apply a stroke to it. So we could find this tool right over here. It's called the line tool. We could click and drag to create a line just like this. Now we don't see anything because there's no stroke on this line. So make sure it's selected. Check your appearance panel and let's add a little stroke, maybe a five point stroke and press enter. So now we actually see the line. I'm going to press the W key so that it gets rid of all those margins and we can just look at this line. So if we have it selected again, we look back at stroke and if we click on stroke, it's, we're going to get the stroke options. Now at the bottom here, we actually have something called start and end. We can determine what goes on the ends of our points here, which is an arrowhead. So we click that and we get a lot of different options here. So I might just click this little simple wide arrow and you can see that it puts a little arrowhead on the end of my line. Now we can make adjustments to that. We can scale it up and down by single percentages, type in the percentage or hold shift. It'll go by larger increments. And you can see that that arrow is scaling up. So that's a scale percentage of the weight of the stroke. So if we bring that back down a little bit, maybe 150% and then we bump up the stroke, you'll see it start to match like that. Now we could maybe find that correct percentage. I'm going to do 125 and I think that looks okay. So we've got a pretty bold arrow out here. We could drop the point weight or point size down on that stroke and there you go. But what if we want to curve this line? What if we want to make some other adjustments? What if we want to create a line differently without the line tool? Well, you can actually use the pin tool. So we can press P for that pin tool, create one point and then create another point while clicking and dragging. We can actually create a curved line. So this curved line, we can do the same thing, apply that same type of stroke to it, maybe 10 point. We can look at the start and the end. We can add a different arrow maybe, like this triangle here. We could add something different on the end, like this circle. And then you can make adjustments to the scale here. I feel like the circle is a little large compared to the triangle. You can just make some adjustments, adjust your point. But now you can see how you can add arrows here. We can press the A key, which is the direct selection tool and select these individual points. We can make adjustments to the handles, which will adjust the curve. We can make an adjustment to where this point is. We can kind of click and drag it around if we only select that point. I like to just maybe click and drag, make sure I only select that point with the direct selection tool. That's the white arrow up here. And then we can click and move that around. Sometimes when you just click and move things around, it actually worked there, but sometimes you'll accidentally move the entire line. With the direct selection tool, you can also click and drag this line around. Obviously it made it a little issue down here. So pulling the handles is probably a better way to uh, adjust the curve of your line. But that's a quick and easy way using the stroke ends to add arrows here in InDesign.